Spencer, although we use kites in South Florida all the time, they really work anywhere on any coast. It's one of the greatest ways of attracting offshore fish. You are a master at flying kites and fishing them. Tell me about it. Well, I think you missed a bet there, Mark. You said offshore fishing. Don't forget the inshore, too. Snook, trout, redfish, striped bass. You want to get over to the, on top of those rocks for that big striper? Fly a kite over there, no problem. So this is our standard kite. It's got four sticks on the back, each one of them, and then it has a bridle in the front that goes from the center into the two top corners, has adjustments here so you can make the kite fly higher or lower or, or give you a hard time crashing in the water depending on how you adjust it. And then on the back, we've tied a balloon. What does the balloon do? This is a 10 cent life jacket. Kites are pretty expensive. If they fall in the water, they eventually sink. You put a balloon on it, and it won't sink. And you, when, as a matter of fact, you can drive over and pick it up and not even strain the, fire, the uh, graphite sticks it could break. So it's a good, cheap life jacket. Everybody should use a life jacket. You know that. So we take our kite. You do have to have a designated kite rod. So we have here a little reel with a very short rod. That's so you can easily reach your clips and you don't have too much rod bend when you're trying to bring the kite in. Have a snap swivel on the end. Goes into the swivel on the kite. And then you just hold the kite up into clear air and away it goes. Wow. Now while you were watching that, I was doing a very important job. I have two release clips here on the kite string. This one has a small hole. This one has a bigger hole. This one's going to slide down, and the kite's going away from the boat. We're using a level wind reel that can be hand cranked or electric, by the way. Makes life really easy. And there's that little bitty swivel and a bead. So this stuff is all stopped right there. Can't go any further from the kite. Now when we let the kite out, we'll put our fishing line in here and it'll start to take our bait away. That's usually about 100 feet, by the way. Then 70 feet from that little swivel, we're going to come to a bigger swivel. See, this slid right over that other swivel. When we come to this next swivel, which is 70 Whoa. feet further, so you have a nice big swivel and that stops this clip. So we can put a bait on here and then we can let it out again. And what happens is our fishing line from our rod comes from our rod to this wire and then down to the water. We can take everything and pull it out away from the boat because the kite's going to pull this away from the boat. And we get it out there where we want it by adjusting our fishing rod. We can raise our bait higher out of the water or let it down into the water. We get seaweed, we can lift it up and drop a few times and fall off. We get a bonita crashing the bait or a bluefish crashing our big bunker up north. We can lift the bait in the air a minute, hope that fish will swim away, drop the bait back in the water before it suffocates, and then we'll get our striped bass or our sailfish. It sounds great. 